Hey there friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Andy and uh, we are continuing with our Crusader Kings 3 playthrough as uh, Jarl Harald Fairhair. I know last time I said hair fair, uh, but it is um, fair hair. So let's jump uh, right back into this. We were last time sacked by our horrible neighbor, the Jarldom of Oplan and the Jarl Dog. Now we are returning the favor, we are looting their their towns, uh, they've all recently been looted instead of this one, tribe of Hedmark. Uh, so we'll see, I maybe last time we weren't able to for some reason, but now we, we, we shall see. Uh, there's 15 gold here and that's quite a lot. Uh, we are looting it now, this is good. We, um, yeah, we need that control back. Oslo has full control, which is good, we should probably... Fire and blood. Uh, yes, we do want to gain a lot of this money here. 30, that's great. And we took some prisoners. Maybe we can ransom them for 23 and nothing. Okay, well, you know what? 23 is uh, probably fine. 24, yeah, whatever. One gold won't make that much of a difference. <clears throat> Perfect. Great. Now, do we have claims on more things? We have claims on Ramariki and Agdesida. That's what we want to uh, unite Norway. Ramariki is, I think, yes, it is, it is in the de jure of the Kingdom of Norway, but it is controlled by Shedan, which is a much... Hmm, yeah, okay, they have a ton of allies, so we don't want to mess with them. They're even allied to um, Jarl Opran, which kind of sucks, because he probably has his eyes on us. At least he will later on. Uh, but let's see what happens if we try to get Agdesida. Do we have a peace treaty? No, we do not. Obviously, our forces are raised, but they are allied to um, the chieftain of the Horda Fulki. 300 men. <clears throat> Should be fine. Let's see what happens then. Let's disband our army. Uh, get some uh, knights back. We only have 10 out of 12. Uh, that means we can buy some more. When can we ask for more knights? 8. 1990. That's in a long time. So I think we'll just bite the apple, sour apple, and recruit that one. That way we're 11 out of 12. Still not the best, but let's do it. Um, maybe we should up our up our maiden men at arms um, retinue or reg regiment. We buy them with prestige. Like we have, we have quite a, quite a lot of that. Um, and we, this are, these are hills and plains, for the most part. Um, and light footmen are good in taiga, which some of these are too. Uh, this is taiga. The bowmen are good in hills and forest. Um, not much plains here. We could use some... Some light horsemen, I guess. Um, even though they are bad in hills, but, but they're good in plains. There are, there are plains around here. You know what? Let's get some horsemen. 230. They cost pi they, they actually cost prestige a month as well. Um, yeah. So we, we should be um, <clears throat> mindful of that. 200 plus 300. We should easily be able to conquer, uh, conquer this. Let's see. Conquer duchy. You know what? Let's do the duchy one. Um, instead of just the claims. It costs... Um, Wait, can we claim this whole thing? Oh, it's only one uh, one province, okay. Um, then probably our claim costs the, the least. 23 prestige versus 125, 25. Yeah. You know what, yes, 25. Let's just do that right now. Even though we're not necessarily fully stocked on the horsemen yet. I don't think we need to be. And we're at war with these two guys, or people. Uh, but we have uh, twice their men, it seems. Maybe not twice, but more. A few champions. Yeah. Nothing we can do about that. Luckily, our champions are very powerful. They're working at 195% of their effectiveness. Uh, we can ally Jarl Bjorn. Who's this? Of Jantlan? Aren't we allies? We were allies before. Or no, call allies. Okay, sure. Motherly advice. Sometimes I think that my mother has a better overview of my treasury than even my steward. A gold piece seems to be worth twice as much when she tells me how to spend it. Please guide me to be to please guide me to prudent choices, mother. Uh, my mother expects to have a say in my decisions. 
Stewardship plus three for five years. Marvel, my treasury. You know what? My treasury. I don't think I want. Um, <clears throat> another person making decisions here. Efficient counter taxes. Perfect. I love this uh, event. We gained 50 gold from just having a good um, steward. He's he's an average steward. Probably haven't, despite him just being average. Then. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Probably in Oslo we should do things, because that's... Let's, let's probably make some Palisades. Uh, we want that defender advantage. We need to be able to defend our, our towns. <clears throat> Since we... We have been acting quite aggressive, I guess. Uh, nice. Perfect. But, uh, as we see, or as we saw... Uh, before, if we simply get attacked by the right or let's say the wrong factions, then all of a sudden uh, things get very difficult. I guess this whole, whole thing is uh, no, okay, there is its own uh, duchy with only only these two. We can create the title actually. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should do this. It costs some money, but our vassals in in these places, if we didn't have the um, duchy, then they would have, um, I think, given us less stuff because we weren't their, their de jure duke or like realm lord or something. Um, because we didn't own the, own the duchy, but now we do. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Found a new kingdom, I guess. Is there no way to... Yeah, we just need all the lands. Uh, okay, natural dread, control growth. It's probably smart to have control growth. Hit and run, retreat losses. Mm, archer damage plus 30% spearman. This is really good. You know what? Hit and run. <clears throat> Hit and run. Otrunes, Otrunes. Okay. Um, let's see, where should we expand next? Probably up here to get the uh, Duchy of uh, Vestlan. Um, yeah, I guess we will just fabricate stuff, um, or this is a not not a very powerful uh, guy. We can, I think, just conquer the country. Subjugate becomes your vassal. Conquer. No, you know what? Why, why don't we just conquer this stuff? Um, I'm just wondering how we got this claim. I guess it's just like something that a claim we we as a sort of tribe or something uh, has I guess it doesn't really matter we're gonna take this anyway conquer duchy uh, county I mean and um, let's put a rally point over here um, and uh, just race all of our people here race all here <clears throat> uh, let's try to take this over before that they do. Oh, they can't actually, because they have less men than the wall can push back. So now we'll have to fight these rebels, because they're also at war with the, um, with the count, or the chieftain, I guess. But now we are sieging. Let's go. There we go. Easy enough. And we are over our domain limit, so we'll uh, give this one away, I think. Unless we have, like, we have, kind of have to think about which two duchies we want to control. Because when you go over two duchies, uh, as a king that is, you get uh, a lot of penalties for controlling two duchies. So I think I want to continue owning uh, Viken. <clears throat> but um, the duchy of Trøndelag is historically important to Norway, so I think I want to control that too. Um, well, we, we could look at development. Development one, two, one, one. Yeah, I don't know. But I think I want uh, Nidaros. That's an important place also in the religion. Uh, up. Isn't it? I 
guess not. No, yes, it is. At all time. Uh, I guess this is uh, outside of here somewhere. Yeah, either way. Disband. And let's see here. This guy, uh, 200 men basically. I like to, okay, 1,000 men. So that, that's a bit, bit more of a challenge. Uh, but we should give a county away now. Probably to some loyal person. Your cousin. It wouldn't be too bad to ha have more... <clears throat> More of the Inglings on thrones, I guess. Um, so let's give this one away. It's a count. I don't know if we get a re renown from that. I don't think so. Probably not. Uh, unless he's independent, but he's not. Do we have any allies? Yes, Jemtlan. Could call on them. Let's see if I have the Fulki. You're allied to. Okay, so you. 800 men versus 200 and 800. We do have more than them, though, so we, we should win. Um, we should win in this thing. They're inferior. My son, another son. Uh, you know what? Let's try this again. Try this again. Let's go up to Tribe of Björgvin. We have 1,000 men versus our 1,500. I wonder what they'll try to do if they try to attack us or besiege us. We're getting stuck in. There was a commotion among the children today. Grimmed was attempting to preach among his fellow youngsters and became the target of a small fight. Halfda intervened and did what he could to protect him. Let's see. Halfdan is our son and heir. Well, Grimmer is our son, but he's also heir to Vingulmark and Telmark. Uh, so that kind of sucks. Let's see. Then right down, we want Halfdan to keep the trait brave. I think it's a really good trait to have. Even though it increases the likelihood of dying in battle by 100%. But it gives you a lot of good stuff. So, And it's also uh, virtuous to our faith. That's what we'll do. We could... Disinherit this guy. Uh, three, we, we will lose 300 prestige and 150 renown though. It's a big hit. But I like that it's possible. Um, we could also imprison him. No, that would be tyrannical. Um, the thing is, we kind of want him to die. <laughs> because I don't want my realm broken up. Uh, that's kind of what... What sucks when you have more uh, children and your and your succession laws uh, divides the titles at uh, the death of the current ruler. But we are very young, 34. Uh, our health is fine, uh, and I don't think I'm married. Your son. Oh snap! We have three sons now. Uh, Ah, uh, yes, why don't we join you? Why not? You saved us before. I th feel like I owe you. Um, although you do own parts of Norway now. We'll have to remedy that later. Um, let's see. Ally joins war. Ally joins war. So now we are... Four in total. Versus three in total. We have, we have the upper hand, luckily. Maybe we don't have to do that much uh, to help them. Let's see how's it going. Uh, increased development, good. We don't really need to fabricate any, any claims, which is fine because we can just attack whoever is close to us. Our enemies up here. I'm assuming they are coming down now to either reclaim what they what they lost or attack us. We can ransom someone for 10. Uh, I don't think uh, we have a prisoner and I think that's an important prisoner giving us that, that war score because uh, he is I guess the grandchild of the chieftain uh, yes that's probably the important one prisoner prisoner yeah Let's see 14 months well that's a lot up to 12. 
Ten. This takes a lot of time to siege. Holy smokes. Massive walls. Okay, but there we there we go. We won that too. Yes, please. Um, and we have another city, Björgvin. Important, uh, important city indeed. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe we should keep, actually, this duchy because it makes it kind of closer to our to our two duchies. Uh, this is just a small one, so it doesn't really matter that it's there, um, unless we can build something tremendous in Trondheim later. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Okay, so we are now over our domain limit once more. I guess we'll have to give Björgvin away. Or no, let's give Otterunds away, actually. Let's do that. And let's just give it to, uh, poor Helge Solm. Chieftain Por, I guess. Let's see what's even your name. Um, there we go. And we are back at full domain limit. Uh, we could now create the Duchy of Vestland. Let's do that. Wow, we are really creating things uh, left and right. This is going pretty smooth. <clears throat> uh, I kind of like this. The look at this better, actually. Make primary. Hmm. Let's deal with that later. Um, we're controlling counties. We're still increasing controlling Telemark, though. Three years left. It takes a lot of time. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, with Norway, we cannot create it. We lack a lot of counties, actually. We have seven. We must have 15. Uh, even though we now control quite a lot of uh, Norway itself. But okay. Chief of Song, we're continuing our... We are... Is that our troops? Why haven't you disbanded? Oh, because we're still at war. <laughs> okay. I guess we need to help our our allies over here. We're losing this war, and it's a subjugation war. So let's see. Let's uh, let's actually get some tactics first. Um, secure measure damage. Good. I think our, our soldiers are actually really uh, high tech right now. Uh, up here is the enemy. I guess we want to battle against them. That's why they're running away. Uh, we're trying to retake the capital. We can maybe move up here then. I'm kind of happy that we don't have that many troops, to be honest, because this is a place where, as you, as you can see, the supply limit is really low, uh, 1600. But as long as we stay below that, we won't get um, unfairly uh, uh, punished. Simple Palisade in Oslo, very good. Let's see, we have some more money. We can make uh, war camps or gathering halls. So it would be nice to have some more knights. Knight effectiveness too, makes a lot of them better. Control growth though, but this county, so we have full full control here. Um, and once we get more knights, it would be nice to... Yeah, you know what? War camps. War camps. Oh, here we are. A champion injured. That is bad. We are, though. If we capture this guy, we probably win the war. Uh, we did not, but we won. And we got a lot of fame, devotion, and contribution score. Five months left. Not too shabby. Harsh judgment. Following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my son and heir, Halfdan, what he thought. He responded that the sentence was far too harsh for such a small crime. The punishment did indeed not fit the crime. He keeps the trait just. Uh, you know what? Uh, just is very good. We will keep the trait just. There we go. Nice. For 62%. We took the chieftain's daughter capt captive. Um, where else? Where else? Up here. I don't know if I want to make my way all the way out there. Can we just all get along? Let's see. Uh, I guess we'll, we can see just some of these cities. This one then. I think the other, our allies are leaving for the other towns up here probably. Maybe they're thinking that it's 
We're down here. But these are allies. Strange. Uh, whoops. That's not cool. Are you not seeing this? What are you doing, guys? Get over here. They're going to siege your capital again. Uh, maybe not. Uh, they're going to kill me, though. I think I'm going to scram. 40 days left. Where are you, where are you guys going? Let's see. Two days left. And let's just make the walk. <laughs> I don't want to get caught in this mess. Oh, smack. I don't know if they're going to capture us or something. Okay, good, good. Okay, we're meeting our fellow uh, warriors up here. Maybe we can now just go up here, actually. And try to besiege their other capital. Because there are two factions. Pregnant, can we not have another son? Um, this... No, he's not an adult either. He's quick. That's a good trait to have. You are intelligent, though. That's a much... That's a better trait to have. Let's see. Allies. Yalov Yulan could help us. Since they have a lot of... Men. And they could probably help us attack Shellan later on. So, not Matrilio. Oh, com Comely. Very good. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. It's a powerful ally. They'll most definitely ask us to join their war. <laughs> Here we go. Uh led conquest of the county of Pula. Let's see. It's in Italy or something? Here we go. Down there. Uh, are you winning? Are you winning, son? Yes, you are. 71%. And you have... Oh, they're allied to Shellan too? Did I not see that? I guess. Okay, well, we're protected then. Uh, and uh, against King of Italy and West Francia. It's crazy that they're winning. I'll accept. But I guess we won't really join that much. Let's see here. 90% we should uh, we should we should be doing this 93 100 and we got some money some prisoners I wish we could have just like not been in a war now though another son ah come on can I f no criminal what have you done no criminal is known as a criminal allow me to punish him without being viewed as a tyrant you again you know what no No, uh, no, no, I helped you twice, three times now. Uh, we want this, 281 uh, prestige, and he likes us 81. That's very good. He did, doesn't like it, 81? What? Strange. Victory. Now oh, we can disband. This is uh, becoming more and more like a... Ugh, border gore, cluster, something. Um, men at arms counter efficiency. Yes, please. Ransom, I'll I'll let her go. Ransom, I'll let her go too. We're gonna make a lot a lot of money from this, and we can attack you now. Let's see, subjugate. Conquer County, vastly inferior. That sounds that's good to me. Um, let's have another rally point. They're quite useful, these rally points. Uh, why are you getting oh, you're long. Um, you, but you, you already lost, didn't you? Defending against in the conquest of Kanto Wow, so he he attacked and now he's just attacked again. Um, and he's gonna gonna lose this because he he's in prison. <laughs> uh, I guess I can accept because the war won't last much more than a few days. There we go. Sad life. 
fight it that easy. Okay. Okay, Vikings everywhere. It's kind of fun to see Westlake doing well in England. They, uh... It's pretty hard time. I guess he somehow maybe inherited Mercia and got all this land. Uh, I don't think he would attack Mercia, so... I think that makes more sense. Oh! I don't even have to be present to uh, to win this fight. <laughs> more of this? No, come on. A thing in uh, CK3 that I really noticed is that the penalty for not joining wars is not high. It's like um, your like the person won't like you as much, but it's only by minus ten or something. I think. Halthona has been asking me for a wooden champion for a long time. And I told him I would get one for him in three months if he displayed more focus in his studies. He simply weighed my offer away, saying he did not really care about that anymore. A changing mind is a healthy mind. Fickle. Fickle is not necessarily a bad trait. Uh, but minus two stewardship is not to my liking. Let's see. Content is pretty good. The only bad thing about content is um, the minus one intrigue. Trusting minus two intrigue. I think we'll do uh, content. It's a good uh, mix. It's a good mix. We, however, need to do some stress relief. Oh no. Oh no. The void left behind. There is a presence in my bed. Just as intensely physical as your body used to feel when you wrapped your limbs around me. Yet this presence is not you, Gula, but all the longing and anguish you left behind. During the days I keep myself occupied, but here, where the memories are so vivid, there is no escape. So she died in the siege, probably. Uh, my courtier, Gula, yes, of course, she was a courtier, not the actual wife. So our sons are captured. Our city is lost. And uh, life is not well. We have one son, two sons, not captured. I think we should jail this guy ourselves. <laughs> um, let's do that. Um, yes. If he survives in jail, then that's fine. As long as we get our own sons back. Okay, you know what? Need to retake our city. Justice. Uh, yeah, sure. Oops. Uh, reassign, reassign. Okay, that's fine. Okay, if you're is under siege, we need to get to Oslo then. I don't want to lose another one. We got the disembark penalty, but that's fine. Won that fairly easily. Noble one was slain during but ally combatant. Oh, that sucks. Guess we're losing champions, aren't we? 10 out of 11. And we don't have any more. This we're going to take 7 months to siege. Theirs is done in 15 months. Uh, but we're not getting back our prisoners before we win this. I guess they won't kill them. L having them as leverage is uh, better anyway. Come on, eight days. Another one of these ones. Control vessel. We still have only 1% because they captured our air. That counts for a lot around here. <laughs> Chieftain, fuck your skeleton. Okay. And now we just need to, we need to get back here, I think. We won't do it in two months. Or will we? Fame. Let's see. Get in that ship. No, I, I don't think it's possible. Did they take it back? No? Where'd it go? I guess we'll just go on and conquer this one. Um, we can't race anymore. We're coming back to Tunspike now. That is lame. Control is low, I guess. Lower, 44. Ugh. Okay, 7 months versus 6 months. Nope, not gonna play that game. Just gonna come and 
not let you siege me. Good. Um, and yeah, just back here. Vestful was under siege, I saw. I guess that was it. 143 fame. We're getting a lot of fame. Uh, we will soon be uh, exalted among men. Maybe not soon. Uh, we're halfway there. <laughs> but uh, being part of all, the, all, all these battles really um, helps that fame gathering. Can take a concubine. I think we have way too many kids, though. Some of these just need to be killed in prison. <laughs> What's this? These are gathering men. Not many. Four. I uh, can't do much. They will not be able to do much. Um, raid speed. 25%. Yes, please. I want that one. I want that one. Did you? Okay. 44 days left. Control has been increased. Let's go back to doing that in this fall. Seems like they're trying to... They have uh, 600 men here. Will we make it there? I guess we'll... We will do well in uh, just sieging that anyway. Minus 7%. This is annoying. Ah, oh, I guess they took it back. Okay, we'll take it back. Halfdan comes of age in prison, sadly. With his coming of age, my tuition of Halfdan is at an end. With sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards careful planning, such as Halfdan, can come to truly understand its uses. Now, it is hard to say, however. Everything that, that is tasked of him is done by others before he gets to it, and he never tells petty lies the way he used to. Perhaps he was not as clever as he seemed after all. Elusive Shadow. Plus 8 Intrigue? That's a lot. That's a really good uh, Intrigue. That's the best one, isn't it? Uh, okay, Elizabeth come to me. Astute Intellectual. Very good too. Um, okay, do have a lot of Intrigue. Good, at least. Yeah, good is good. Um, nine stewardship, that's also quite good. That's probably better than we have. No, we have ten. Okay. But he's not a, he's not a warrior at all. Uh, yeah, decent one, maybe. More fame. When can we destroy you? I guess we'll kind of maybe need to... Um Capture their guy. Can we do that? Can we make it? No, we can't. Let's just stay. Nice spying grounds. Two days left. There we go. And there we want. We took the chieftain. We captured the chieftain. And there. That means that we will get the land. But we will also get my son back. He is ill. Um, so we will need a physician if we do not have one. I think we have one. But this is kind of lame. Uh, we... I guess we'll just take it. <laughs> I guess we're at peace. Are we at peace? Yes. Where's the... Okay, okay. He doesn't... The thing in uh, Crusader Kings 3... Uh, same with Crusader Kings 2, if I remember correctly. Is that when you attack someone... Uh, you have a truce with them. At least if you win the war. I don't know how it is if you peace out or something, but um, you, the attacker, has the truce. The defender, as we can see here, do not. Uh, and that's quite interesting. Because then you can basically just attack back if you won, for example. Um, now let's give some land away. To someone fairly young, 48, I don't know, this guy maybe, 9, 7, no, 16, maybe our son should have some land, but maybe not, you know what, let's get it to, um, let's give it to the 38 year old, one eyed, one legged guy, <laughs> uh, but he's feeling fine, so that's good. I uh, know we're all overwhelmed by stress because we're not generous, I guess. Uh, this sucks. Let's have the event. 
Mental break, resentment. Why must I always do everything myself? How can I be expected to rule over Viken when half of my servants are incapable of following my orders and the other half does not even understand them? Reach stress level 1. Odin, I need a drink. We get the train drunkard. Tiny penalty to health. I do not want this. So we will have to endure it. Gain 75 stress. Oh my lord. If you are still stressing 5 years, you may suffer another mental break. Uh, yes. To have the mental break go down. Have the mental break go down. I think we'll need to do some events. Call a hunt. will lower it by 48. Holding a feast will lose it by 36. Let's call the hunt first. We might get some positive trades from them too, I think. Uh, we can sell some people off. That's what we're here for. Felling a beast. You would think it a creature from myth, perhaps a god disguised in animal form. It was the largest stag I have ever seen. Even after the beast was wounded, the chase lasted half a day. It is still an imposing sight lying dead before me. Elizabeth is just as awestruck. I have never seen such a thing, my lord. Uh, it said it will look beautiful in my great hall, giving us prestige a month, 0 0.5. It should be a trophy form for my son, having the jailed son like us more. I think Elizabeth deserves the credit for this. Um, she gains prestige and opinion of us. We gain stress, so no thanks. Hunting trophy. This is what I want. Um, Death Diplomacy. Your choice with Chiefs in the Wrong God. As we're talking to convince our neighboring realms of that the peace treaty I entered is flawed, the illegitimate unfair to me. I'm also going to declare war upon him as I please. Nice! This is the great work of a Chancellor who knows what his mission is. Um, we can invite more knights or champions. Let's do that. We need some before this next great war. Should we make some more buildings? Um, nice. We got some prestige. Let's have a market. I think we'll save the rest of the rest of the money in case we want to create something later, or in case we yeah we need to buy, make some champions. Uh, recruit some champions. We don't make champions here. Let's see. Or I guess we do. It's a matter of interpretation, isn't it? Um, okay. I still want less stress, though. So let's host a feast for 50. We're almost at the uh, below level 1. Feast at Cherry Gathering. The guests are gathered in the Great Hall. Lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright and spirits are high as the feast begins. Nice. Let's have a good time feast. You can hear the music playing in the background. It's all good vibes here. The high table breaks. The great table seating the upper nobility on the dais gave a loud crack. And a moment later it gave in under the weight of food and gilded decoration. As my most distinguished guests and I had to be fitted in among the lower nobility. I ended up close to my vassal chieftain Ingemar. As high nobles mingled with their lessers, word of both friendship and enmity were exchanged among people who rarely associate. Ingemar and I ended up talking all evening and agreed it should not be the last time we feasted and laughed in each other's company. My vassal and champion is the guy, he's the one-legged, one-eyed one guy, nice. What a great night, Ing Chief Ingemar becomes your friend. And we can see if uh, our friends are here. He is, we like each other fine. Our friendship. As my guests leave, they seem to depart in good spirits. I am also relieved to see that Chieftain Ingemar does not depart without saying farewell. We both know we will be seeing each other again soon. What a cozy event. What a man. Uh, Chieftain Ingemar gained an opinion of us. And for 10 years, we gained prestige. And uh, this was a good feast. I believe now we shall... Um... Probably attack uh, Song. They are inferior to us once more. So let us do this. Are there more champions to recruit? No. It's uh, just one big raid. Massive assault across Norway. <laughs>
that's what we gotta do. Strategical impasse. I'm sitting around the map table with Chieftain Ingemar and Chieftain Poir discussing a strategy for the ongoing war. Ingemar eagerly points out all the prime targets we should immediately send raiding parties to village, while Poir, I'm just gonna call him Poir, sits back and patiently advocates for us to secure critical locations and wait for the enemy to come to us instead. It is my right to decide our ultimate course of action. And since our martial skill is so high, we can use both of them. Otherwise, we would have had to choose or just lose opinion and stuff. So, you can improve pillaging for 5 years uh, and improve defense. Improve defense. Very good. And all of these two as individual commanders. But that's amazing. So, we can see that here. Improve pillaging, improve defense. Improve pillaging. Supply duration, siege phase time. Okay, nice. We can try this probably after one of these wars here. Champion has arrived. Your brother has then died. Okay. Let's recruit this champion. We need to have that elite army because we are we don't have that many soldiers compared to the southern kingdoms. Nice. Another county conquered. Let's give it to um, let's give it to the one-eyed leg guy, guy. Let's do that. Nice. Now we are controlling basically, if we're thinking population and power. Cl close to half of Norway now, I think. At least, sort of. Yeah, we're controlling a lot. We are. We we're definitely getting there, and I think we'll stop there. Uh, we're getting. Uh, we're having great progress. Maybe next time we'll do some raiding, more some more conquests up here. Opran definitely needs to see some action. Although they have been smart and allied themselves both to Shalom and Yulam, uh, which means that we probably can't call on them in a war against Opran. Uh, that sucks. Maybe we'll have to wait for this guy's death. They are bonded through several marriages, though. Or is that the same one? Probably the same one. Uh, but yeah, that's all for next time. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks again. Bye-bye.